What's going on, Scorpio? It's your girl D with Eighth House Energy here to bring you your Wow, what well, can we get the can we get the introduction out with the side without the sirens going off? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them in the background. They may be faint to you, but I was just, you know. Anyway, this is your silent enemies reading for December 2021. I hope all is well in the land of Scorpio. I'm gonna put three cards out. We're gonna look at these energies intuitively, tell you what I see. Uh, in reference to, you know, what your intuition might be telling you about certain people that are around you, if your intuition is even telling you anything. Some of you, you may not have any of these concerns that might show up. Some of you might have one, so take what resonates, leave the rest, uh, and consider yourself informed, if nothing more, right? So, let's see what's up. I need three cards for Scorpio, please. Okay. Here we go, the Seven of Swords coming out. Aquarius Energy. One more. The Nine of Cups came out in reverse. That's Pisces. One more. Okay, the Four of Wands. All right, that's Aries. So let's see what we got going on. So with the Seven of Swords, I feel like, you know, you need to uh, watch what you say. Um... You know, watch what you tell people in reference to your business or, you know, what type of business moves you're making or how you make money or what your plans or your goals are. I feel like you should be careful um, what you reveal to people about you. That's the energy I'm getting here. Um, maybe you're doing some communicating or you're connecting with people. And um, I don't know, maybe you're feeling as if you need to guard yourself towards these people so you may be watching them or you may feel like, you know, um, you can't trust them or you can see through them. Something like that. It could be that. But this is somebody around you. So if you don't feel this way about somebody, somebody could feel this way about you. But it's, your intuition is going to tell you what's up. So whatever your intuition has been telling you, you know to follow it. Now it could just be your intuition is telling you to keep your moves to yourself. But it could be that your intuition is telling you that there's somebody around you who is keeping something from you. You're trying to, I don't know if you're trying to figure somebody out or you're trying to see if somebody's being honest with you or not you may have caught somebody out there in a lie and you just trying to see what else you can get out of it um i don't know it could be that you may have known somebody lied and just didn't say anything and you're just watching them to see what they're gonna do and how they're gonna do what they do um but there's an energy here of just being cautious with communication overall right if anything if anything should resonate so uh, with the next energy here, this is the Nine of Cups energy in reverse. This is a uh, Piscean energy. So this to me is like an energy of being greedy, overindulging is what I get. So some of you, maybe you're overindulging and, you know, this is like uh, Pisces energy, Neptune energy. So it could be um, drugs and alcohol. Okay, it could be food. Uh, it could be some, it could be something that you're overindulging in. Um, that you just need to be mindful of. If it's not that, it could be that there's somebody around you who could be very greedy, who's self-centered. Um, somebody around you could be very unhappy, you know, um, or somebody could be greedy. They may only want you sexually because this could represent like a hedonism type of energy. Somebody might want to just use you, you know, maybe you turn somebody on in that way where they just want to, take advantage of you sexually and that's it like this is like it's not an obsession but it's just like they don't really have nothing planned for you but just to have a good time in the bed with you that's what i'm getting to for some of you but there's an energy here of a multiple things so just take what resonates this four of wands this is aries hmm. this is telling me uh something about it could be something about where you live, where you're moving to, or maybe you should consider moving. Someone could be trying to travel towards you. This could be somebody coming towards you acting as if they want to, you know, take things to the next level or that you guys can have a connection. Whatever. This could be family members, too, coming towards you. So there's somebody I get an energy of reuniting with this four of wands. So I feel like strongly as somebody from your past, because I don't feel like this is new energy. I'm just not getting that. I'm getting this as somebody you've already known before, you met before for a lot of you. 
but it could be somebody new too. So keep in mind, you know, we got a lot of people breaking up. And so a lot of people are, you know, wanting to go out and meet new people and they haven't healed yet. So if this is somebody new, you just need to be careful of moving too fast with this person. Some of you, um, I don't know if somebody's going to offer you uh, to go on a trip or somebody wants to take a vacation with you or get on the road. Yeah, I, I feel like if somebody's wanting you to come visit or it could be about the holidays. Maybe somebody wants you to come around for the holidays. I don't know why that's showing up, but it is showing up for a silent enemy. So I don't know if some of you got issues with family members or, you know, I don't know. This could be your hometown for some of you. But it's showing up here, you know. You may think that you're going on a vacation, but wherever you're going, it may be an issue in some way, shape, or form. It could be that, you know, it's not going to be a harmonious situation. Maybe you and this person will get into a dispute or... But it's somebody who's close. Somebody who's very close to you. So, like, I feel like family with that four of wands. But it could be your ex, someone you were married to. But I get an energy of somebody you already knew. Um... Some of you could be going to stay in a hotel. Maybe um, you're in a hotel. Uh, somebody could be shopping for a new place, a new house. I don't know. There's something about where you live or where you're traveling to. But I do feel a lot of travel because it's the holiday season. So somebody going to someone's house. A family member staying with family. I don't know. The Four of Wands could be a hotel too. So it, yeah, because I said that earlier. I get that too. Some people, you know, traveling to see people. Some people staying at hotels. Some people staying at families' houses. Some people staying at B&Bs. But I do see a lot of travel for the holidays, of course. So I don't know if this means don't go anywhere. We'll find out in the extended. Or maybe, you know, we'll see what this means. All right? So it could mean some positive things are coming to you. You need to, you know, be on guard. Right. And you don't want to blow it. Maybe you got something beautiful and you're not taking advantage of it or you're not looking at it in a positive way. And maybe it's being threatened. All right. But we'll find out in the extended. So that's what I got for you, Scorpio. So if this resonated with you or someone, you know, let me know in the comments or click the like button. If you need a personal, my information is in the box below. Uh, the link for the extended will be there as well. So I'm going to head over. Hopefully I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.